I'm Devin Murray with Gulf States Financial, and this is Better Together. This week's question comes from Alicia Heilman with Keller Williams Gulf Coast down in Orange Beach, Alabama. Alicia had asked the question about down payment requirements on second homes. If you're an agent in a market where second home purchases are a dominant thing and a, a, a predominant part of uh, the number of uh, your percentage of business, uh, this, this is something, it's a very interesting answer and a very interesting question. The answer to the question has for years, uh, for, I don't know, five, six years has been 10% down for second homes. Related to down payment are interest rates. Interest rates on second home loans have pretty much mirrored interest rates for primary residences as compared to investment interest rates, which are traditionally higher. So what does all this mean and what's happening? So in as of March 15th of this year, 2022, FHFA, who oversees and dictates the Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, has come out and announced a what they call a loan level pricing adjustment, which is not directly to the interest rate, but a pricing adjustment for second homes all the way down to, I believe, 65 percent. So basically anybody who's not putting and I believe it's even below this, but who is not putting half down for a second home, this is going to this is going to be an impact. Um, so ultimately, what does this mean? This means that interest rates for second homes are going to climb significantly and I believe exceed interest rates uh, for investment properties. The move um, I've asked a lot of different people, a lot of different institutions, um, you know, what's the purpose of this? I don't really know. I think it, I, honestly, I think it's to help increase inventory, which it's most definitely going to do. Um, but also kind of a, a side impact that I don't really for understand really well is that if you don't have perfect credit, and even if you do have perfect credit, an 80 or excuse me, a 10% down second home loan may not be able to pass what they call a QM points and fees test, which is a 3% kind of maximum. Uh, so that I think is going to be sort of an issue uh, that's coming. Now, our hope is it's not all bad news. Our hope is that during COVID, um, they did something similar to this with refinances. You know, the rates were really, really low in 2020 and 2021. And they came out with a, a, a loan level price adjustment, I believe, of a half percent on all refinances. And that lasted, I want to say, less than 60 days. It might have even been 30 days. And uh, th there was a lot of backlash from our industry and they backed off of that, thankfully. My hope is, is that that happens again. Um, uh, the, the level, a 4.125% adjustment is really, really high. Um, so ultimately, is this all bad news? Not necessarily. If the other part of your business model uh, as an agent also includes investors, I think this is going to, I think inventory, this is going to cause inventories in certain markets to go up. Like you think of Orlando, you get a lot of investors that come in. You have a lot of folks who do second homes. Um, you know, that's that's kind of, an, and, and there's areas, right? Beach homes, lake homes, things of that nature. But, you know, the other side of this is, is that for folks who have a little more to put down other than 10% down, this will probably sort of push people into investment products. I think they're actually going to be cheaper. I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens. Um, so ultimately it, it's, it's going to spell an opportunity for investors and for people who can afford to put 20% down. I think that's the, the ultimate goal here. So, um, you know, it's not the best news, but it will, I believe it will spell some opportunity for some folks who are a little better positioned and maybe, uh, you know, that is going to lead to a price correction, I believe in some places. And, you know, related to this topic, I'll, I'll, we'll do another post. We're getting a lot of questions about interest rates. Yes, they're going up. Um, and, you know, there's a there's also, you know, the Fed is going to increase interest rates. Uh, and, and I'll speak to that in another post. So anyways, ultimately, we'll, we're going to have to see what happens. It'll be very interesting to watch. So I want to put that on everybody's radar. Um, and as always, uh, please send us your questions. So Alicia, thank you so much for your question. Uh, questions at Gulf States Financial. Uh, if you if you like this post, uh, go to our YouTube channel, the Gulf States YouTube channel here. I'll put links in below to uh, the blog. I do a little bit more posting on the blog. It's easier to write than get in front of the camera. So thank you so much for watching and uh, make it a great day. Thank you so much.